my dear cousin, my friend, Vana Bitov. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Stoyan. Thank you, my dear friend, Connie. I am deeply humbled by this award. Words are insufficient to express my gratitude for this honor, not to mention this distinct honor of sharing the stage tonight with Chris Pellier. Chris, who would have thought growing up ten, only ten, day, 10 doors away from each other that someday we would be on the stage for such a special evening? Congratulations. I can think of no one more deserving of the Lifetime Achievement Award. Native American writer Linda Hogan said, we are the result of the love of thousands. I would like to dedicate this award to one very special love that I am full of gratitude to have resulted from. That is the love my grandparents shared, not only for each other, but for their homeland and for the land that would eventually become the, their home, Canada and the United States of America. They taught me, amongst other things, that in order to get where you are going, you must know where you came from. My grandfather, Kola, immigrated to Canada by himself when he was 11 years old in the early 1900s. He was deported twice, but eventually via a banana boat from Cuba to Miami, he would arrive at his final home, Toronto. He worked very hard building a home and a business so that he could eventually bring his wife, Vana, to join him. Despite their very humble beginnings, they helped pioneer the creation of churches, benevolent societies, and political organizations. Although they lacked sophistication in this area, somehow they just knew what needed to be done. In 1984, my American grandmother, Alana, became a lifeline to many of the children who were separated from their parents during the ethnic cleansing of Macedonia. My mother's cousin Stasa was one of those children. On the night that Stasa was taken from her mother, her mother quickly dressed her in a skirt that she had made especially for her and sewn into the hem was an American dollar bill and my grandmother's address in Indiana. Stasa's mother told her that when she got to a safe place, she was, write, she was to write to her aunt in Indiana and tell her where she was. And so Stasa did. And my grandmother wrote back and was able to let Stasa's distraught parents know where she was. The small act of kindness led to a network of other lost children writing to my grandmother in hopes of connecting to their families. She wrote them all, sent gifts, clothing, and most importantly, became the only link these children had to their homes. Mother Teresa spoke these words. I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. In 1984, 34 years after my grandmother cast her stone across the water, my own parents would hold the first of many conventions in downtown Skopje for lost children looking for their families. Those ripples my grandmother started had become waves, and over the next few years, thousands of families would finally and joyfully be reunited with their children. Those who give, will receive. These are words my grandmother instilled in my father. I am forever grateful that my father passed this wisdom along, for as a result, my life has been blessed with a richness that money just can't buy. I owe many thanks to organizations such as United Macedonians Diaspora and Canadian Macedonian Place for offering me the opportunity to exercise my passion for preserving our heritage while stretching myself as a human being in ways that I have never experienced otherwise. 
One of my most tra treasured childhood memories was watching my grandfather's early morning sustenance ritual of kissing the ground in the backyard of his Toronto home. It was his way of expressing thanks to God for allowing him the opportunity to come to this great land that ultimately gave he and his family freedom. I think about this almost every time I return to Canada after being on foreign soil. And with three generations of roots deeply planted in this soil, I am a grateful, proud, true North, strong and free woman. Canada is my home, yes. But I also know where I came from. And with a piece of my heart always residing in Macedonia, at the base of my family tree, Sravets will forever bloom. Thank you for this incredible honor. It means more to me than you will ever know. Thank you also to my family for their love and support. God bless you, Ted's husband. Thank you.